In fall 2019, COVID-19 took the world by surprise and created a global pandemic. Let's look into how it affected our beautiful Hawaiian island chain. Oh, and that's our friend, the surfer C. Anyways, the first detected case on Oahu was on March 6, 2020. A SEER compartmentalized model has been developed by mathematicians at UH to fit the daily cases. It is optimizing over the transmission rate based on various mitigation measures that took place. Let's have a look at some real data. This plot will show numbers of daily cases recorded from March 6. This red plane here shows the assumption on the fit for the real data, while that starting in June 10 successfully quarantined 15% of asymptomatic people through contact tracing and uniformly after day 5, 6, and 7 of exposure. For this dotted dashed line here, we assume that we are quarantining 52% of asymptomatic people after day 2, 3, and 4. Basically, the dashed lines here are two alternate scenarios with early detection of exposed individual and in larger quantity. So, let's recap this again, and our surfer friend here is going to join us this time. In short, the plane line represents low contact tracing. The dotted line represents mild contact tracing. And the last dashed dotted line represents aggressive contact tracing. As we can see, during aggressive contact tracing, wave is down and we have better results. Now that we understood what happened, we can forecast how it is going to project in the near future. This is the forecasting for daily cases. The red curve shows aggressive contact tracing and low compliance from the people. The blue curve, top one, is after good compliance and mild contact tracing. The orange curve is after good contact tracing and good compliance. This is the forecasting of ICU beds and is pretty similar to the previous one. Notice, this bottom dashed line here never goes back up because it is controlled and if we want to be able to surf that wave safely as our surfer friend just did, we have to be responsible. If we are not compliant enough and if we only count on the government, we will go on that plane wave and crash like our surfer friend just did. Let us all try to keep the wave down so our surfer friend can surf safely. So, please stay at home as much as you can. If you have to go out, wear a mask. Also, if you're inside anywhere with people you don't live with, please wear a mask. And of course, maintain at least six feet distance. Remember, you can make a difference. You can save people, save lives.